What's going on everybody? It's your homie Davin coming at you with another video on how to make your stream more unique and interactive for your viewers using the Streamlabs chatbot. This time we're already over currency and ranked, so let's get right into it. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, I am Davin. I am a streamer on Twitch. I go live every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Most of my videos are centered around questions I get commonly asked on the stream and in Discord. So if anybody feels like they want a certain video made or the way I do certain things on the stream, feel free to ask in the comments below or swing by the stream and ask right there in person. I have no issues answering the questions live. Now we got that out of the way, let's get right into it. Now that we have the Streamlabs chatbot open, you're going to want to click on the currency tab right here. And what this will do is open up the currency screen, which will come up with a bunch of names, ranks, points, hours, based on how much people have been contributing to your stream since you installed the Streamlabs chatbot. If this is the first time you've opened Streamlabs chatbot and you haven't streamed at all, this screen might be completely empty. Now, the reasons that I think currency is a very, very important tool to have and is very, very useful is simply because it allows you to differentiate the regulars who's coming in your stream constantly, who's the one that's always there when you're going live. It'll allow you to give them different features, different interactivity. It'll allow you to add a personal flair to your stream, uniqueness to it. I just, I just love the currency system. It just adds a whole different dimension to interactivity with your chat. Now, once you have this stream open, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the little cogwheel on the top right. If you hold over it, it's going to say settings. We're going to click that. Now the screen you're gonna be looking at is called the global currency settings. And what this is, is this is where you're gonna customize your point system, how you award points or the currency. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is right under name right here is where you're gonna name your currency. For example, I call mine gears. All my ranks are based on droids from the Star Wars series. And I thought calling something droid centric like gears would be a fitting name for my point system. Now the command over here is exclamation mark points. That's the default command. This is the command your viewers are gonna come type in if they wanna see how much currency they have in your stream. They go in your chat, they type exclamation mark points and it will list off this response right here. I keep it points simply because it's a very universal command and a lot of people know it. It's very easy to remember. Once they type in the command, the response will then say username ranked hours, hours, currency name points. For example, Davin ranked C3PO, Hours, 72. Gears, 7,280. Very simple. Now, the next part right here, assign ranks based on X amount of points or hours spent in chat. This is essentially allowing you to assign ranks based on hours or points. Automatically become a regular at hours or points. I do hours simply because sometimes people will be in your stream watching that you don't even know are there. And this will give them a rank or a regular tag simply from watching your stream. It's very, very cool to see somebody has put in hours watching your content, but hasn't even made themselves known or said something in the chat other than maybe dropping a follow. Now, if we come down here to intervals, there's online interval, offline interval. This is essentially how often they reward points based on whether you're online or offline, them being in your channel. For example, offline interval, every five minutes they will award points payout is how much they pay out every interval so live payout is essentially the baseline that's how many they're going to get out simply from them being in your channel while you're live this is the baseline five points for every five minutes is how mine reads out it makes it very easy for me to remember one point for every minute pretty simplistic offline payout i keep mine at zero it's up to you how you want to do it but that's how many points people get for being in your channel while you're offline then you have stacking bonuses this is that regular threshold. If they hit that 200 hour uh, threshold, they get extra bonus points on top of the baseline simply because they've hit that regular threshold. Same with the sub. If they're a sub, they get a bonus, moderator bonus. Active bonus, I believe, is when they chat in your stream, when they're active in your stream, etc. Event payouts. This is points based on an event. If they raid you, they get 50. If they follow, they get 50. If they sub, they get 50. If they gift subs, they get 100 per X amount of subs. If they host, they get 20. You can change all these points to fit however you choose it to fit. Once you have everything put in there, calculated out, etc., if you come up here, this will tell you when you're live, right here, how many points minimum they get and how many points maximum they get per hour. 
With my settings, taking the baseline account, they get 60 points an hour at the minimum, or they can max it out with all the bonuses and everything at 240 points an hour. It's something to keep in mind when you go into set up your ranks. All right, so now that we got a pretty basic setup set up for the uh, currency system, we're going to go back over here to the regular currency screen. And now that you kind of understand how the currency work, all the hours and points and everything, how it's all calculated, kind of makes a lot more sense to you now. Now we're going to go into rank. If you go up here to ranks, you click the little crown icon in the top right. It will come up. It will most likely be empty if this is the first time you're doing it. You can then add ranks based on point thresholds or hour thresholds. You hit the little add button here. You type in, you know, example one. That's the name of the rank. Requirement, let's say 1,000 or well, I guess 19,000 points. Viewer, this is the group that will be tied to. Any viewer that's in your stream can get this rank. Any subscriber in the stream can get your rank. Mod only can get this rank in your stream. I say rank in your stream. Either way, you hit the submit when you're done. If you wish to edit a rank, you click on Star Wars Droid, for example. That's my my example one we're going to use here. And you click the little pencil. You're able to edit the rank and change all of the requirements and whatnot we just went over when we we're setting it up. That's how you set up your rank. Now, if you go back, you will then see people be assigned a rank based on the points or the hours that you deem to set up. And now that we got kind of a basic rank and currency system set into place, I can now show you kind of an example or two of how to set up something so that the people that have supported you the most have special privileges compared to, you know, somebody that might be brand new to the stream or not a regular per se. So if we go back into sound files, we went over this last time that we, the last video that I, I made for Streamlabs chatbot. And if you go into sound files, you open up one of the sound files you have. Maybe you don't have any. You can do a plus here. We'll just add a new one, right? You set up all the information, which again, I went over in the last video. Automatically generate command. And you'll see down here, permission, everyone, or regular, minimum rank. You can set up the rank that they have to be in order to use a command. You can set up the cost, which ties directly in the currency that you just set up. That way, only people of a certain rank can use it. Only people have a certain amount of currency can use it. It gives extra back and in, extra incentive to those people that have put time and support into your stream. Now, on top of all the sound files and stuff like that, you can do with the currency system. There are other options in here that you can do for the currency rank system that I haven't delved into too hard, but they are there. I know of others that do do them. Song requests. I don't recommend doing this anymore. DMCA strikes are coming down pretty hard on twitch now you can do it if you want to take a chance but it is possible just like through the sound files in order to add a you know minimum rank minimum points etc they can request songs they'll play through the stream they can listen to them again be careful with copyright strikes i don't recommend doing it anymore now if you go down to mini games they have mini game options for heist duels you duel somebody etc it's going to cost x amount of points you fight a boss you get paid out etc if you go down to betting you can bet x amount of points or whatever and then you can have a certain chance of winning you get paid out based on that just little things like that to make your stream more personal more interactive and to give back to those that support you again i think the currency and rank system is huge i think it's a great feature to have on the stream chatbot i do recommend it for just about every stream out there keeping tabs on the people that are investing their time in you and your stream is just huge i like to show appreciation to them and i like to make it very very personalized i like having my stream be as unique to me as possible and this adds another avenue that i can do that while also giving extra interaction for the stream and interactivity again i'm davin i stream on twitch every tuesday wednesday friday saturday i do answer a lot of these feature questions live on stream we do discuss these things on stream so feel free to stop by it's 4 p.m central each day i do have a discord which i'll link right below the video again i appreciate you guys and i'll see you in the next one peace Can I get some music for this? Nope. How long